Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to do a quick little tutorial on how to trans basically convert uh, FS15 mods to FS17. So uh, these are some of the conversions I'm working on. Um, and so, but today uh, really needing a semi truck. So today we're going to work on this white Kenworth here. So let's get started. The way we do that is basically get into Giants Editor 7.0.2. If you do not have the latest version, please go get that. Okay, so then we go to File, Open Mod, select the folder we want to open the mod from. This is, I pretty much open all the mods out of this folder, so it selected it for me. Click on the mod we want to convert. It will ask uh, about the directory you want to put it in. You can basically put it in any directory. Um, I know I have F FS17 mods. And, and, and you don't have to worry about this. If you don't have this folder already on your desktop, I know I do. But if you don't, like it'll create a folder for you. So you don't have to worry about that. Just click OK. It'll ask you if you want to uh, upgrade the files with the cloud service. Say yes. This is how it converts it. So then it selects the new path. Alright, so, and it doesn't matter what it is, guys. Uh, this this mod converter that Giants has uh, implemented for 17 uh, is, I feel like, a big help. It, it helps a lot. It doesn't take care of everything but it gets most of the work done. It's really awesome and makes converting uh, much easier uh, and less painful than uh, not having anything at all. So uh, we notice this is kind of the report sheet. Okay, so we notice there's a couple of warnings and that's because the engine brake Lua is um, out of date basically uh, and it's it's not the right one. So. Um, we won't worry about that. We're not going to convert the engine brake with the truck today. Just the regular uh, mod itself. So uh, everything as far as that is is successful and is good. So uh, this is really something to pay attention to uh, when you're converting the mod. Watch for errors or warnings in the mod disk. Um, the and the XML those are the two big things the light shader dirt shader you can get all those those are pretty easy but if you uh, if you have errors in these ones uh, pay attention to what it says over here in the description because it will really help you uh, convert it so this one's actually going pretty easy so far all right so load it up wow I take that back look at all those errors okay so we don't need to really look at our mod, we need to look at the log um, for the editor. So we've got a bunch of stuff, processing, processing, loading file with invalid case. Loading file with invalid case. So this is kind of new to me too guys, so bear with me here. I'm uh, invalid case. All right, which refers to the letters. What? Why did it process those and not these ones? Because of a stupid T? Are you serious? Because of a stupid T. All right, so that's just dumb. All right, but anyway, let's uh, let's get that taken care of. So. All right, so then uh, we need to go to our mods folder where we converted the mod at, which is here, tells us the conversion. Uh, and so then we need to open up the i3d file with notepad++. Find basically in here, find where the T's are missing and fix them because everything about this game is particular which makes it so hard to convert stuff and model and script so yeah but anyway uh, so we got all those changed click save 
and then we will close out of that. Um, alrighty, so now the only thing left to do is load it in, load the mod in our games mod folder, and run the game. Alright guys, so this is where my OBS seems to have some trouble um, loading into the game. I should be able to tab out and back in. And unfortunately I don't have a second monitor, so I hope you guys are seeing the game as I am. I'm just going to load up the mod really fast. In the game and so, while we're waiting on that, uh, I've got actually the console uh, active as well, so it will tell me the errors um, in the log file. Um, hopefully you're seeing that, but just in case you're not, I'm just going to buy the mod really fast, see if it's buyable anyway. It is buyable. I just lease it. If you can lease it, you can buy it. So that's all you really need to know. Uh, looks pretty good. Um, let's look at the log file and see what we gotta fix. Uh, okay, some call stacks. All right, so it'll be easier to diagnose this if we're looking at the log in notepad plus plus and, and it might not be visible anyway like I said I've been having some game capture issues so bear with me while we get we want to we know we want to open the XML uh, and then we want to look at our log file and find errors this is the only one we're not going to worry about because the it's not zipped and it and so that error will be fixed if you zip the mod up. Um, file invalid case so a texture again that's probably in the XML file we can fix that. Uh, invalid case texture again we know the brand is in the mod disk so let's load up the mod disk as well. We can fix that really fast. Whoops. We can just do control S. Um, move that back up. Put a T in there. There we go. Uh, we don't need none of the scripting. because this is all for the break which we know is not going to work so remove all of that uh, the best thing to do before you convert the mod is strip it down to the basics this one was pretty easy and I did kind of a test run so that's why I'm kind of flying through this so it took me a little while to get through it I ended up uh, rem uh, removing all the engine break scripting first before I converted it so make sure you strip your mod down to the bare minimum scripting it needs um, and not all the extras when you're converting it if at all possible if you can't then the log file is going to be a lot harder to go through and it's just going to give more errors um, let's see fix the store image um, what else does the log file say old shapes we can fix old file shapes, well that was because of a conversion um, reverse lights so it wants us to use not index it wants us to use real light okay so we gotta go find to where the real lights are here's the reverse lights instead of index we need to put in real light fixes that, click save um, what else does the log say? Because I'm sure it's full of stuff. Here's an index out of range. Y. Sp 
specialization steer and lua. Alright, let's go find out what that is. So we can use control F for the find key. We can do uh, zero greater than zero. Shift forward slash to get the long line or whatever. And then nine. Find a next. Oh wait, psh, it was right there. Wow. Alrighty. Some of you guys are probably going to point that out. But character index, so the camera minimum distance for the player. Okay, so we don't need that. No longer exists. Save that. What else does a log file say? Call sack, we fix that. Lua string um, engine brake Lua, so we got rid of that. And break Lua scripting. Um, engine brake. Engine brake. All right, so that should give us a clean log if we load it back up. Again, guys, loading up my game, you'll have to bear with me here just a couple of seconds. Um, should be able to tab out. It's taken a little while. Alright, and tab back in should, in fact, get it working again. And we'll just go to our editing game. Select the mod. Buy it. Lease it. Okay. Again, if you can buy the mod, you can lease the mod. If you can lease the mod, you can buy the mod. Alright, let's start her up. Cool. All right, it's got a little shaking because I've got a full real uh, module from Giants Editor that uh, resembles terrain, but hey, everything else is working great, so seems good. Well, let's check the log file really fast. Format. No big deal on that one. Alright, so it pretty much works in game. Uh, actually, it does work in game. So, that should uh, take care of that. That's how the old file shapes uh, should be able to just get rid of that if you uh, load the. Uh, if you just load the i3D up and then with the regular one and then save it. file, save, saved it, and then it, and that should take care of that. So, uh, yeah guys, that's how you convert the white Kenworth. So, uh, just, uh, and again, it's basically the same process for any mod. So, some mods take longer, some mods take easier, depends on how easier. Surprisingly, that one was pretty easy. Um, so, we kind of looked out on that one. But yeah, hey guys, Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you uh, got some uh, good tips and uh, help out of this one. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Just comment below, tell me guys what you want to see, and, and I will uh, be uploading some probably gameplay uh, next. I'm going to start finally getting into the game So after messing with some mods here for the past week. So uh, probably upload some gameplay. So yeah guys, post in the comments and we'll see you for next time.